Uh, faith means everything. It means that I have opportunity not only just to believe in faith, but to show it. Uh, it means that I can share my, my Christian beliefs um, anywhere I want to go, um, any, any part of the, the world, which I have done before, even in parts that uh, there were different religions and I had a chance to explain to them what being a Christian is, what about, you know, being also about faith and belief. So I think faith means everything to me. Family is, it's, you're, you're close, um, you're tight, you're, you're going to have arguments, you're going to have disagreements, uh, but families always stick together uh, through thick and thin. Um, it's, it's something that you, if you're in a family and it's a strong family, you feel the presence of love um, that you'll never be let down. And that's something we kind of, we talk about. I'm a big family guy, um, having a big family growing up and telling our players, when you come here, you're part of our family. You're going to be taken care of. If that means getting up three o'clock in the morning when a basketball player calls you and she's sick, you got to take her to the emergency room. That's what we teach to our, our incoming freshmen and those that have been here. We've done that before multiple times. Uh, when they go through pain, we go through pain, um, even through death. And that's something we, we have strong, strongly believe in is, you know, when someone passes away, we feel the pain with you because you're part of our family and we're there to support you. Uh, no matter how far, if you're from California, Texas, or uh, South Carolina, we're gonna be there to support you. It, it starts day, day one for us. Uh, the one thing that we do, we do a lot of team bonding. Um, we, we wanna make sure they're taken care of from day one. Our ultimate goal here is to graduate. Um, that's for any student or student athlete. They wanna graduate, but the things they learn between the graduation for the four years is, is so important for them. Um, good example, we've had some kids that have never had a Bible before. Um, and I was talking to them, giving them a speech, and I just happened to ask, does everybody have a Bible? And one kid said, no, I don't have a Bible. So we made sure she had a Bible, and that's something that we talk about now, that every kid coming through here, they're going to have a Bible. Uh, but also we've had kids that have never heard the word of Jesus Christ, and, and within two or three years here, they've gotten baptized. and. It's kind of neat having Pastor John baptize them in the pool um, and having family and friends come over and support them. So it, that's something uh, you, you think about family, the growth of it. When they graduate, they know they've been through the fire. And when they take their first job, you know, saying being there at seven o'clock and oh, we get up at six o'clock and run. So I'm used to doing that. Uh, that's some of the small things you think about family is making sure you're preparing them for life, not just basketball, but once they walk across that stage. Met my wife. I hired her assistant. Her sister, sister her sister. Excuse me. I hired her assist. Uh, <laughs> I hired her sister as my assistant coach, um, and she kept saying, "I, I'm, I'm, I said, what are you waiting on? Um, you going to take the job?" She said, "I have to ask my sister." Um, so her sister decided to come all the way from Texas to Virginia. While I was the head coach there, and um, and it happened. Did not know she had a twin sister. And, and I'm a twin, so it kind of, it's like, who's this sister? And, and I knew the family, but not well, uh, because of, she was a coach too. And she said, well, my sister had the come. She never said twin. And she gets out the car and I go, who is that? <laughs> is that your sister? She goes, yes. And I've been praying to God, put a godly woman in my life. And I finally went to them. I said, hey, I'm going to ask your sister out. And is that okay? And it was history from there. So it, I, I was blessed to hire somebody but to get a wife out of it. It, it, it means everything. Uh, I love women's basketball, I love sports period, but I, I try to teach our basketball players here that it's not about basketball that you learn from AAU or high school. It's college basketball, it's different. Um, you're given opportunity that many young ladies, they practice every day for 18 years and you, you're one of the chosen ones to get a full scholarship to come here at Charleston Southern. Everything's paid for why some other student athletes go to Division II, Division III and have to pay their way there. So it, it means everything that we could continue to grow this, but also to show them that they're, they're per, it's a privilege to play college basketball and it's a privilege to coach um, at this level. So um, basketball has been in my family for years and uh, I truly enjoy it. And, I think God's put me at the right place at the right time. I think it goes through leadership. Um, you have to empower them with the small things to see if they can take that task and, and go from point A, B, C. 
Uh, some, some players can do that. Some players take them three years to do it. Um, uh, a good example, Anna Webster is one of those that we're looking for leadership and she started four years ago. Um, and that's one of the players that you know was in the gym this morning when nobody was here. We had to wait, wait till six o'clock. She was in here shooting from like seven to eight forty-five or an O. So those little things, I think she's learned. You know, coaches believe in me, and we can do that. But some players come in here from day one, like Alyssa Mann, that you know you, you sit her down and say, "Hey, what is your goals?" And it's and she runs with them and she includes that. So empowerment, I think, is very important. We want our young ladies to be empowered, but we'll, we'll make sure that we do it in the right way. It, it means a lot. Um, I was given an opportunity to be here. Um, Hank Smalls and the committee chose me to be the head coach here. And um, my goals were, you know, win a championship. It hasn't changed. Uh, we advanced a couple years ago, but we want to win a championship. And I think that's something our players understand. It means everything. It means the opportunity that I can walk anywhere on campus um, and share my faith to not just student athletes, but the population here from the faculty to the regular students. Um, it's given me an opportunity to, to witness to our faculty and staff and students. So I, I think it means everything. And I think God put me in the right place at the right time just to share what he has taken multiple years and from grandparents that are ministers to you know, just keep people in my life to, to show them, you know, what God has molded me into.